In Consumer Corner, we take a look at trends creating a buzz here in China. On today's show, we'll discuss wife swapping to get new license plates. People in Beijing and Tianjin are thinking about swapping wives. This isn't just a way to spice up a relationship, though. It's a very practical one about getting to work. And an incredibly radical one that does in fact mean they'll be legally marrying someone else's spouse in a trade. Even though there is no actual case of this happening, this idea has been heated up on Chinese social networks. Here's why. People in Tianjin used to get Beijing license plates because it was easy to do and lets them travel between the two cities. Tianjin is very close to Beijing and many commute there for work. Then Tianjin laws about license plates changed. It became hard to get a Tianjin plate. The law also said that without Tianjin plates, people in Tianjin can't drive in the city center on weekdays or during rush hour. Laws changed in Beijing too. They created a lottery to limit the number of drivers in Beijing. Beijing has horrible traffic and horrible air pollution. So they wanted to cut down on the number of drivers. This month, only one out of 100 plate applicants can win the lottery and get a Beijing plate. It's actually become more rational for people from Beijing to buy plates from Tianjin. But as the laws have changed in both cities, both Beijing and Tianjin people have found themselves in a bind. There is a loophole though. If a person from Beijing with a Tianjin car gets married to a Tianjin person, the car can be transferred to the spouse. So people in Beijing and Tianjin have thought that it would be clever if they swapped spouses in order to swap cars. They would do this because strangers aren't allowed to make this exchange. There are hundreds of people showing interest in transferring cars on an online forum. People have figured out that if they don't swap wives, the insurance costs will be much higher. In a legal sense, it would be much more like borrowing a car if they just switched the cars without registration. The insurance company also would refuse to compensate them for losses in case of an accident. The cost from swapping spouses can be super cheap. The cost of getting married and divorced in China is just 9 yuan, or about $1.50. Depending on the car, the cost of switching cars is just 30 to 130 US dollars. Altogether, two families only need to spend $526 at most if they are to swap spouses for cars. The transfer can be done in just a few days. Without borrowing cars or swapping wives, they'll have to buy another car. They'd possibly also have to wait for years for a license. The idea of swapping wives would save time and money. Some net users think that there is hope for the policy, but we can assume that these are people from Beijing with a Beijing plate, or at least there's some with a strong interest in making Beijing traffic better. One wrote, quote, If all the cars registered in other provinces are limited from driving in Beijing, then the road would be less crowded. Every city should only allow cars with local plates, so at least 30% of vehicles will be reduced on the roads in first-tier cities. However, another net user criticized this idea, quote, Only those idiot government leaders come up with these kinds of ideas to distinguish cars from Beijing, Tianjin, and other cities. We are all Chinese people. Human rights should not be different just because we are born in different cities. One net user felt disappointed by the current situation, quote, In order to stay alive in this world, we gradually gave up on the freedom to have babies, freedom to control our own property, and freedom of expression. Now we even give up the right to love and marry. We are now living without faith. Oh no, we still have faith, faith in money. Only money can change our lives, so we have to become slaves to money. There are a lot of radical ideas being thrown around in China to help people save money on cars and houses. Here we have wife swapping, before we had fake divorces. It's a strange way of valuing a life partner if you were to put a price on it similar to that of a house or car. It could be seen as a sign of confidence in a relationship too, but radical nonetheless and it hasn't worked out very well for all those who try it.